Welcome Capricorns and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 19th of July through to Sunday the 25th of July 2021. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side will be your crowning wisdom message cards. Okay, so Capricorns, let's just jump straight into your uh, reading to see what your overarching crowning messages are for this week. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning messages? Thank you. We have patience, okay. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning messages to the question, how does the soulmate of Capricorn Sun Moon Rising, thank you, and we have move forward, okay. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crown, thank you, and we have awareness, okay. All right, let's have a look at your crowning wisdom messages. Capricorns. Do you know what I am picking up, uh, Capricorns? I feel as if whoever is the um, divine feminine in the energy, I feel as if they may be manifesting, praying, in meditation, setting intentions for this connection to come into um, fruition and I feel like the divine masculine if they did not um, if they did not um, accept this relationship or um, they uh, disregarded it or they turned it down I feel as if they're going to be moving forward and it's because there's been some sort of an awareness around this connection that has been uncovered that's what I'm picking up. All right. My angels, thank you. And we have got finance, finances and career. Okay. So maybe one of you or both of you, um, I'm feeling it as if it's the divine masculine, may not have moved forward in this connection because uh, they may have been focusing on their finances or their career. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you... Tell me your crowning wisdom messages to the question, how does the soulmate of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Thank you. And we've got getting to know each other. Yeah, I feel as if um, whoever has the divine masculine energy in this connection, there is something that they are becoming fully aware, all right? And I feel it's down to whoever is the divine feminine has been wishing, hoping, praying um, for this person to come forward or to be guided as to whether or not this person is interested in them. Uh, I'm not sure which which is your energy yet, um, Capricorn. Um, But I feel as if you are in a position or um, divine spirit universe has positioned this relationship for you to get to kind of get to know each other. And your final card is. Let your friends help you. OK, yeah. Do you know something? It may be you um, that is. Um, the divine feminine in this connection that has been very, very patient um, wishing, hoping, praying, um, manifesting. That's you, Capricorn. Um, I feel reaching out to your friends and I feel your spiritual team um, to ask for help, guidance. Um, what, what do you need to do in order to move forward with this connection? I feel as though... Um, Oh, I'm just jumping straight in. Okay, let's let's go for it. So your first crowning message is patience. I feel that this is your energy, Capricorn. 
uh, the divine feminine within you, whether you are male or female, I feel as if you've been very, very patient with this connection. It's somebody that you do know. I do feel that you have been in meditation, manifesting, wishing, hoping, praying um, that this person will come forward. OK, um, and I feel as if they finally are. Uh, moving forward, I feel that whoever you are connecting to, their divine and masculine energy is definitely taking action to move towards you, Capricorn. And I feel it's because you have definitely been reaching out to your spiritual friends. You may have been reaching out to confidants to guide you to basically hold your peace and be patient. It feels as if whatever this awareness was for you, I feel as though you were very, very aware that this person needed to take the action towards you. It wasn't something that you could pursue. It almost feels as if you needed to allow this person to wake up to this connection. And guess what? I feel as if you're now looking back thinking, okay, yeah, I've done the right thing. I've done the right thing by being patient, um, by waiting, by reaching out to my spiritual team, by speaking to um, my uh, friends, my confidants, um, because it feels as if something has been revealed. Okay. You were fully aware um, that you needed to just be still okay and allow this person to move towards you um taking that action and i feel as if this week that's exactly what's happening for your crowning wisdom messages i feel that maybe what had um buckled this person from coming towards you in the past was uh, their finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now they may have felt lack in some shape form or another or they may just be going through challenging times at work okay around their finances around their career it also could represent um Capricorns that you may be having some challenges around finances, career, and it almost feels as if you just needed to be patient. You were aware this person was around you. You were aware that they needed to take action towards you. But I also feel that you may have been aware that you needed to uh, deal with finances or career. That was your priority. All right. As you have been patient, I feel as if you're kind of being um, rewarded with the blessing that you're going to move forward. You're both going to move forward in this connection, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And as you do get to know each other, I feel as if what was hidden underneath that rock that I feel that you were aware of, they may have been aware of it, but chose not to lift up that rock to investigate to move forward towards you i feel as if you're both going to be extremely pleased as you do get to know each other and that bond is definitely going to deepen and then with let your friends help you ask for and accept um support from others i am almost feeling as if you've done it look at that crystal ball here i feel as if you have been in a period of literally being still allowing divine spirit universe your spirit team i feel those that i'm reading for you were wishing hoping praying for guidance as to what to do and i feel the act of not doing anything maybe focusing on your finances and career getting that in order distracting yourself a little bit but still uh, you know you you had you didn't take your eye off the ball you were still aware that this person was around you that there was something that needed to move forward, okay, between the two of you. I feel as if Divine Spirit Universe, your spirit team, ha are answering you this week. Um, they are supporting you and helping you both in this connection, for sure. And it's all about getting to know each other. I feel as if you two do know who who you are, but for whatever reason, possibly finances, career, um, this person didn't really move towards you. And there's something about you, Capricorn, your divine feminine energy within you, whether you are male or female, just knew that you needed to be patient. It was almost like you needed to allow this person to lead the way, to move forward towards you. And I feel as if you're coming out extremely, um, happy that you kind of took the action that you did take all right um and that was to be still for a hot minute all right capricorns if this message is resonating for you already please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video 
subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, it really just helps to push the video out to other Capricorns seeking a weekly message. Returning subscribers, just want to say welcome, welcome. Um, I really hope that you get a useful and meaningful message um, from this reading. Um, thank you for your support, your donations, your encouragement. I am really, really, really grateful. All right. Also, Capricorns, you can find me on TikTok, TikTok and Instagram. So please feel free to join me on those social media platforms. I welcome your support and encouragement there as well. All right. All right, so Capricorns, let's get into your main love message. Okay, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how does the soulmate of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 19th of July through to Sunday the 25th of July 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Capricorn that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. All right, let's have a look. Capricorns, right. My angels, oh, straight away. Okay. So whoever this King of Swords is, I feel as if um, this is this divine masculine energy. I feel as if they may have cut you out or they may have said something quite blunt, quite cutting. And it's deriving from a place of them protecting their heart. But I feel as though um, they are very, very wise. They are somebody that... Um, they they don't they don't do things half-heartedly i feel like when they've made a decision um they stick to it you know they are somebody i feel they could be in quite a they may work for themselves they may have a powerful job but they're used to making decisions and therefore they are used to weighing things up um being quite direct very clear in their approach um i feel that this person is somebody that definitely leads people okay um i feel as if they are uh, fully aware that um, maybe you've pulled back your energy, that you've been quite patient with them. Now I feel that they are coming forward. If they did cut you out, I feel as if they're having a change of heart and they're taking action towards you. Yeah, look at that, the emperor energy coming in here. This person is, um, I feel as if they may have tried to really control their feelings, really control what I feel they've been aware of for such a long time is that there is a very deep connection between the two of you. I do feel that they want to put the work in now with the three of coins. And what did I say, Capricorn? You are the person that have been manifesting, wishing, hoping, praying. You're the one with the divine feminine energy in you, whether you are male or female. You knew that you needed this person to take control of the situation and be the leader. And that's exactly what they are, um, the emperor and the king of swords. They need to lead um, and take control of which direction this connection is going in. And I feel as if um, they are now moving forward. Genuinely, this person might have been seriously sorting out finances, career. Um, you know, in the pandemic that we are in at the moment, a lot of uh, businesses are struggling with the lockdown, then reopen the lockdown. I feel this person is a master at their trade, which we can see that with these, these energy cards here. Very, very strong masculine, divine masculine energy coming in. This person is somebody that is a decision maker. They may uh, be their own boss. Um, they uh, could lead a team, but they are um, held in high regard in the area of the work that they do. And they are considered an expert, okay? I feel as if you have been manifesting, hoping, wishing, praying that maybe things can settle down. Um, you know, you may have been focusing on your finances as well, but I feel as if you have been wishing, hoping, praying that this person will move forward or that you would get some sort of sign um, that it's okay to kind of get to know each other. All right. Interesting. Let's um, continue. Thank you. 
Oh, wow. Okay. And the justice card comes out. Um, so I feel as if you feel that you have a soul contract with this person. I feel also as well that you want reconciliation. Um, you guys may have been getting to know each other in the past. Maybe this person said something to you quite flippantly, but you may have taken it uh, quite harshly i would say all right and that's where you may have reached out to friends reached out to your spirit team to guide you as to what's the next steps that you need to do and basically if this person is interested in you for them to um, have the strength and the courage to come forward um, and i feel as if your wishes your prayers your affirmations have been answered um, i feel as if something is leveling up now uh, this person is ready to get to know you all right um, with this justice card i do feel as if you may feel that you've got a soul contract with this person you could be dealing with the libra or you could have libra in your chart all right let's have a look at our clarifiers my angels and look at that they just show me the knight of coins so even though this person is person is in a lead is a leader in their own right they are somebody um that is slow to action particularly when it comes to matters of the heart or getting to know somebody um but when they do come forward uh, it will be a solid offer that this person is um bringing you all right Oh, and do you know something? I was just about to say the only thing missing is cups because we've got the coins that we're showing here, which is shown here. We've got the swords. We've got the um, wands and all we were missing were the cups. It almost feels as if if you had a checkbox, this person would be your perfect person. They are somebody that speaks truth. They are honorable. They have integrity. They are action orientated. I feel that they do have a lot of passion for you. Just be aware, though, Capricorn, they may be a little bit controlled or they could be quite jealous all right i feel as if they are somebody that they like to have their own finances they like to have their own stuff in place all right and i feel with this ace of cups this person's got unconditional love for you but guess what they know that you've got unconditional love for them i feel that they want to have a new beginning with you all right so there's obviously something that the two of you perhaps may have gotten to know each other something was said and it feels as if capricorns you pulled back your energy and kind of went into a bit of meditation grounding seeking guidance from your friends from your spiritual team as to what is the best action for you to um take yeah this person walked away from you didn't i say that they walked away from this connection over misunderstandings miscommunication yeah there was something that was said or done that created a lot of misunderstanding miscommunication and i feel that they felt they had no choice but to walk away from it i feel as though the intuition is kicking in and that they know that they need to give this another chance is what i feel because they know that you've got this unconditional love for them and i also feel as if they know that you've been quite patient they are aware that you've got this love i feel as if they may have tried to ignore it reject it but guess what i feel as if there's something look at the birds here peace peace i feel as if they know they're beginning to understand that you come you come with nothing but peace and love all right let's oh okay thank you yeah, look at this with the four of swords. I feel as if this person was really heartbroken when you pulled away your energy. They may have been heartbroken to even walk away from you, but I feel that they've gone through a rebirth healing, trying to figure out um, what is it they want. I feel that they do want to put work into this connection. With the king of wands, I feel that this is their energy, male or female. This person is very independent, very um strong-minded they are used to being a leader you could be actually physically dealing with a man um i feel that this person is a very much a man's man okay they're not going to be influenced or cajoled into anything that they don't want to do this person knows their own mind um i, I feel that they have a lot of passion for you but i do feel that they are a little bit of, they may have a bit of an ego a bit of a pride they may be quite controlling and so therefore uh, capricorn if you can Came towards them um, too expressive, too open, too with too much love, dare I say it, um, it almost feels as if 
you know there was no challenge for this person there was no there was you done all the work so to speak, um, which meant that they might have said something to you a bit off the cuff that was a little bit cutting, like, you know, I don't feel the same way as you feel towards me. I feel like they're regretting that. They're regretting walking away because they know that there is um, an equal love between the two of you. I feel that you definitely want to build a future with this person, yeah? And you're waiting. Whatever you are manifesting for, you are waiting for it because you want to build a future. You're that energy. You're the one that's being patient. And I feel as if this week, your prayers, affirmations, manifestations, intention setting is coming. You're not going to be waiting much longer because this person is moving forward to, towards you. And yeah, with this um, hangman in reverse, I feel as though where you have been waiting, observing, a little bit spiritually stagnant, still that is changing. You are no longer, um, you are no longer waiting for this person because they're coming forward. I feel as if this soul contract that you have with this person is something that you've been reflecting on for a hot minute. As they come towards you, moving forward, taking action in a positive way, I feel as though you now understand that this person, uh, you don't need to watch and observe this uh, connection any longer. It's almost now you're moving to that next stage of definitely getting to know each other a lot better. Whoops. One more card. Thank you. Here's their energy, the King of Swords. Yeah, I feel as if um, this person is coming towards you um, with with truth. I feel I feel as if they want to put an end to maybe silent treatment or not talking to you. And I feel as if you're you're the one that feels that you have a soul contract with this person. That's why you've been waiting for quite a while, really reflecting, a little bit stuck in the mud. I feel like spiritually just a little bit stagnant. All of that is going, all of that is being released because this person is coming towards you. So this person is right at the beginning of the reading and right at the end. So this person is definitely moving towards you, I feel. Um, they are very much, whether they are a man or a woman, their divine masculine energy is like so out of this world. If anything, I would probably say uh, Capricorn with that justice card here, you may be uh, be brought into their life to help them balance out the divine masculine and the divine feminine energy within them because this kind of divine um, masculine energy is a bit too, you know, really kind of bombastic, um, very um, fiery, very, um, yeah, it almost is on the borderline of a bit arrogant, to be honest with you. Um, but do you know what? I feel as if um, if you do have a soul contract, and I do feel that there is an element of a soul contract, but you may have been wishing for this, okay, to fulfill a soul contract that you think. Um, I haven't seen any other cards to confirm that it, it definitely is a soul contract with this person, but you believe that you have a soul contract with this person. And hey, that's your belief. But I feel that what you may not realise is that actually you're the one that's been brought into their life to help them balance out this real, this real tough, um, dominant, uh, divine masculine energy that I feel that they need to balance out. And I feel that you're the balancing factor. So believe it or not, um, Capricorns, I actually think that you are supposed to be more in their life than they are supposed to be in yours. Very interesting. All right, let's have a look at your uh, advice. So your first card is prudence. Don't be lured by the siren's song. So I feel as if you're being guided to keep aware, all right? This person is moving forward towards you. They are taking action. Just be very, very prudent. Don't get yourself all in a, um, how can I put it? Put it this way. Don't go and buy the, uh, you know, the wedding party or start booking the church or booking the registry office. Um, you guys need to just get to know each other. I feel as if it's your energy that is supposed to help out this, help balance out this person's, um, 
I almost want to say quite arrogant, prideful, egotistical kind of energy. I'm not saying that that's what they are like, but they have this kind of air of um, arrogance about them. <laughs> it's the only way that I can say it. Um, I don't feel that that is who they are i feel that it is an exterior that they wear um to protect themselves to defend themselves all right um but i feel whatever they said to you that triggered um them walking away um they've, they've thought about it they've thought about it and i feel as if they were heartbroken. You would never, ever, ever know to meet this person that they were heartbroken. And that is what you've got to be prudent about because this person could quite easily um, lure you into a false sense of security. They could be showing and telling you one thing, but actually there's a whole different rah-rah going on underneath that. That is what you're being guided to be aware of. Now that you've kind of got what you want, in terms of this person coming towards you, I almost feel this is the time for you to be on your guard to really discover whether or not um, you really want this person in your life, to be honest with you, Capricorn. And then we've got dive. You don't find, find pearls on the seashore. Absolutely. you. I feel like you're the one now that has to actually dive a little bit deeper. And as you get to know this person, really figure out, do you really, really want to be with this person. That's where you may going forward need to still reach out to your friends, your spirit team, because there may be stuff that you will see around this person that you think, hold on a minute, I'm not sure if I kind of want to be around somebody that's quite egotistical, arrogant, controlling, jealous. But there's more, there's more. Uh, it says here, you don't find pearls on the seashore. There is something very beautiful and very precious about this person. You may just have to dig deep, but it almost feels as if you're going to go through a bit of a phase, all right? So put it this way. You guys met each other, had an encounter, got to know each other. You said something I feel was to do with your emotions in love. This person just thought, well, this is too heavy, backed off, walked away, said something. You've been in the background wishing, hoping, praying that you could get some clarity as to what this per person's purpose in your life is. I feel as if you've now got it. You've almost got a second chance for this person to get to know this person, for them to get to know you. But I feel that the underlying um, uh, information underneath that rock that now is coming towards you which you're going to have to reach out to your spirit team again I feel or close confidants is that actually if this um, exterior that they have being quite blunt quite judgmental a bit egotistical a bit prideful um, a bit arrogant um, I feel as though when you dig a bit deeper that is where you're going to find that precious pearl within this person and I feel as if you're being I feel as if divine spirit universe is painting the whole picture here for you for you to recognize that actually the journey is just really beginning with this person just because they're coming forward to you try not to hold too much expectation because they could come forward to you in quite a yeah, false sense of security. They could just kind of show you, do, say the things that you want to hear and see. But actually, um, they could just be playing with you a little bit. But if you can get through that and kind of realise, okay, what is the true essence of this person? That's where you've got to dive deep. That's where you've got to unearth something and that's where you'll find, find the real pearl of this person. Because I almost feel as if they aren't like this. Um, you know, arrogant, you know, blunt, egotistical, ego-driven, pride-driven. It feels as if it is very much um, an exterior. 
thank you and your final advice recharge there's nothing like a walk on the beach to soothe your soul so i feel as though as you get to know each other um as you kind of look under that rock i feel as though um you are aware that this person is going to come towards you which is going to make you really really happy but i feel as if there's a bit of a twist in this in this story um and i feel that you're going to almost have to recharge recalibrate and almost think to yourself shit is this what i've been manifesting wishing hoping being patient for um somebody that as hard as nails that probably won't show a lot of emotion to you but guess what it is there it's there so i feel that you're being guided to to stay grounded um stay connected with mother earth um, your higher self divine spirit universe still keep up your meditation still be patient because i feel that there's a lot more that divine spirit universe wants you to see around this person and i genuinely feel capricorn um this person you're the one that's been brought into this person to help them balance out this um divine masculine energy within them they are it's like they've disconnected with their divine feminine side it's there but it's hidden it's so 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 hidden that yeah they're stepping a little bit too much into the divine masculine energy that it's getting on the borderline of not very nice all right that's why you're being guided don't be lured into that look a little deep look a lot deeper all right i'm going to leave that there capricorn if this message resonates please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video subscribe if you haven't done so already until next time uh capricorns i'm sending you loads and loads of love peace and light take care bye bye